Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to PK Gam's Nightmare. The quickest way to the mountains is through the North Gate, and of course, don't forget about your Ocarina slowdown time thing, kids. Also, I'm gonna go and grab that 100 rupee giblet. Because, well, I, I forgot it on the last day of three three day cycle, but that's okay, I suppose. I can always do off-camera rupee grinding, I suppose, on various things. I'll show you other methods on how to get rupees even faster, but yeah. Well, let's just first go up there and get the rupee like we did before. There we go, and now as long as we're on this part of the town... It's shooting gallery day! Yes, shooting gallery day. Remember all those annoying shooting games and Zelda games where they're awkward and incredibly hard? Well, this game has got like six of them. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna give you a little rundown here. The, the Octoroks that are gonna pop up here are gonna appear in like a 3x3 three three grid formation, so you'll always know about where to shoot. But the issue with this is you got to get a perfect score. Good luck with that. <laughs> well, it's it's not a perfect score to get the upgraded quiver, but you do need a perfect score to get a heart contain. I mean, a heart piece. Excuse me. So our highest score is 39. If we beat that, you will get the quiver. And I'm going. We got it. So we actually got to play this twice. I'm just going to play it until I get 40 points. And then just quit it off, because then, on repeated plays, if I beat my high score, that I can just replay for free. Which will save me rupees in the long run. And plus, this is sort of like a practice thing. Oh jeez, I am so much better with the bone now that I've taken a break. Seriously, I mean, I am shooting the eyes out of this. And yes, it's actually live targets, which is kind of cruel if you think about it. <laughs> It's, oh shoot, oh, I just spoke too soon, I'm gonna miss stuff now, aren't I? Well, eh. I'm not going for the perfect score anyway, this first run, because I gotta, I gotta do this twice anyway, and I'm just getting the hang of it, so. There we go, I just seen three pop up in the middle, I just kinda mashed it. Oh jeez, oh no. Yeah, the blue ones cut your time by a second, I believe, so. Yeah, you never wanna hit the blue ones. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Uh, this is way easier on the 3DS version, by the way, with the gyroscope. Yeah! Just just putting that there, it's, it's gonna be... Oh, shoot! Well... Oh, wait, I wanted to stop at 40, that's right. So I'm, I'm holding it, I'm holding it here. There's that... Oh, pff, well, whatever. It just it forced me to let go. Okay, so I got 43, that means I got a large quiver. That's pretty easy to do, right? But getting the perfect score of 50? Oh, my Arceus! Oh my Arceus. Or at least if you beat your high score, you'll be able to replay for free. But what? Well not well not for free necessarily, but you'll be able to get a uh, purple rupee, but still, it's just a thing I'll let you not wanna play this game for hours if you can help it. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and by the way, they appear in the same formation each time. So in theory, you should be able to get the hang of this eventually. So, uh, you could also think of, like, dice in a way for some of the patterns, like that one just before was like a, a four. <laughs> for some of the patterns, if it helps you visualize where things are a bit quicker, maybe, or just make up your own patterns in your mind to try and think of where they are, but for the most part, I'm just going to be just trying to memorize things as I go to make things as easy as possible. I do not like when they're like that tight yeah, formation such as that. Oh, shoot. This is that 5-1. Okay. We're good. We're still good. We still have a chance at the perfect score. Good, good, good. I don't like those ones in back. Because if you miss slightly, that could be devastating. And I think the last one was a T formation, so I just mashed the button there. Hit that one. Hit that one. Yes! I can't believe I freaking got it. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, no way. That was perfect. Well, here you go. And we got a piece of heart. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So we can call this one done now. Thank Arceus. Ah, uh, I think now what I'm going to do... 
is go and flop over at the swamp, specifically Woodfall, because I want to go and show you something else. There's another shooting gallery there too, but I'm not specifically going to do the, the shooting gallery on the way to the southern swamp. There's, it has to do with something, let's just put it that way. So I'm, I'm going to flop over on over here. And then I am going to go over to the Great Deku Palace. Got it? Good. So be sure to transform into their Deku brethren. That, what the heck just happened there? Did you see that? I, it did it again! It's because I keep respawning where that... Oh no! Did I just encounter some? S oh, okay, I was gonna say, did I encounter some sort of infinite game-breaking glitch that forces you to restart the dang thing? By the way, if you reopen this chest just to show you for kicks, you get just a regular heart instead of a piece of heart, <laughs> just like the other heart piece locations. It just kind of flip flops over. Yeah. Wait, where I thought there was a lily pad down. Maybe there wasn't. I'm just trying to find my way across there. Uh, oh yeah, there is one. I do gotta get over to this chest first. But yeah, stuff that appears in chests, if it's like a major item that'll... That, that won't reset when you reset time, it will be... different. Like, something less spectacular, I guess you could say. <laughs> what the? You can stand on top of those... Interesting, I never knew that. Oops. Oh, look at that! Look, yeah, 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 he respawns you there, if you fall into the... Huh. Interesting, interesting. So since you know what I'm going for here, I, I probably don't even have to say it, but... Yeah, I just gotta get another picture of the king here. That'll do. And I'll just take off this mask so they throw me out really quick. <laughs> Since I gotta be in human form anyway, I do believe to uh, pull this off anyway, so yeah. Anyway, and I'm gonna Song of Soaring. Uh, I thought, okay. I was gonna say, I, I'm gonna play Song of Soaring to get back over to the boat shack. <laughs> That's over at the Southern Swamp. And then I will show that picture to that guy, because remember I, I, I was gonna show him the picture and he was like, Well, the contest is over now. Well, now it shouldn't be, because it's back to day one, the swamp has been reset, and whatnot, so yeah, I'll just, just kind of flip-flop up through here and kind of go back in here and show him what for this time. <laughs> How's it going? Blimey, where is the other spoiled child's playing a hook? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome, yes, yes. Here's the pictograph. How do you like the Deku King? Oh! Oh! The King! You are amazing! If you're not a Deku scrub, you're not allowed to enter the Deku Palace, but somehow you took this picture. This is a great shot. This is as rare as they come. I'm giving you a big prize. It's a piece of heart. Yeah! I'm looking forward to your next picture. And I've got another picture in mind for him. Hey, Tingle! Hey, Tingle! How's it going up there? Not so good now, is it? Yeah, that's what you get for stealing my rupees. So now, I'd like to give, get another picture of this guy here. Oh! No, 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 I want his face. There we go. Wait, wait, actually, well, full body will do, actually. Uh, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> and as long as I've got the rupees here, I suppose... What I could do here is, uh, uh, yeah, buy another map, because I'll need this map, well, not necessarily need it, but Snowhead here, voila, voila, map of Snowhead, by the way, the map of uh, Woodfall is cheaper if you get it here as opposed to his other location, but, well, you won't have a map before you get to this point then, so it's, <laughs> it's up to you whether or not you want to spend the rupees or not. Anyway, back to the shack. Hey, guy, I'm back, and I got another picture for ya. It's your son. What? That's my son. Ugh, she's still doing that sort of thing. Ugh, how humiliating. This guy, he's my son. As old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him, but he really is a kind-hearted boy. Well, thank you for growing all that trouble. This is just a small token of my gratitude. 
and you'll get a silver rupee. That is an easy way to get rupees. Yeah, as you can do this every cycle too. Um, but you know, this is kind of well. I, I was I was gonna say it's kind of a little out of the way, but not really. Maybe not. <laughs> Well, I, I guess I could try telling him that, but there's no promise he's going to remember it after I reset time. <laughs> Alright, now what I've got to do here is rescue her again. Yeah, because remember, we reset time, so we got to go through that whole forest shenanigan again. And, it, it, yeah, this I'm, I'm serious, this is necessary for 100%. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this game is all about repetition. No, I didn't mean to talk to you, I just want to spin into the water. Oops, I... Well... Well... Whatever, I got magic beans, it's it's spectacular, I wasted 10 rupees. Unless I can find something that I can use them for on this cycle. <laughs> I gotta remember bean locations to, to see if I can, but we'll, we'll see. Because I'm not gonna use them this part or anything like that, I'll just kinda... Owl save and look into stuff or try and remember stuff. Alright, let's do this thing a jigger all over again. Yada yada da 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 da. Here's, yeah, I'm gonna tell you about your sister. Give me a potion, please. That would be lovely. Thank you very much. By the way, this time, if you didn't notice, you didn't get a bottle. As I said, you don't get quite the same good prize you did before. So this time you get a potion that fills your bottle that you've already got, but you don't get a bottle for it. So you can't get like unlimited bottles or something like that. Here's your potion, lady. Enjoy. Also remember the ends of the Woods of Mystery this way to the entrance. You know, maybe I should have did this before, but uh, well, you know, as long as I was here the first time. But basically, we've got to beat the boss again. You're like, what? Gotta beat the boss. What? No, we can't, we don't have to beat the boss again. Of course, we have to beat the boss again. Wait, it's. Uh, I forgot what it was, but well, you'll you'll see. <laughs> up left, up left, a right, a. Uh huh. Yes. So, why do we need to beat the boss again? Well, because I kind of forgot to do a shooting mini game when I came off of beating the boss at the boat hut thing, because, yeah, once you defeat, I mean, once you clear out the temple and save the hag, you <laughs> you'll be able to go and, uh, yeah, it's a game that pops up and I can't believe I forgot about it, but at the same time, maybe that's a good thing, because I would kind of like to show you a more proper way of defeating Old Dalwa plus something else. Because you see, once you defeat a temple once and you have the remains in your inventory, something will happen. See this? See this? Yeah, you who will hold my remains. Return to the appointed place to face me. Rawr. And this will transport you all the way to the boss room automatically. So you don't have to do the temple again, which is sort of handy. But you still have to defeat the boss skin, which is not so handy. <laughs> yes, I would like to go to the boss's lair and, and show you a more proper strategy on how to defeat this monstrosity. Because remember, I was messing around before, and the, the thing about it was I was trying to show all the moves that he's got, and I didn't really have to do that. I could just show you how to defeat him really quickly. <laughs> so here we go. Ready, Oldawa, El Targets, Wa. Oh, oh ho! Just gotta wait for him to do something that he distracts himself with. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and when he comes down from the ceiling, oh, no, no. Fine, I'll just, I'll just wait for you to sling your sword. I don't mind that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, haha. See, it's, he's not a hard boss at all. It's just a thing of that. I was just. Wait, I can shoot you now, can't I? Oop, not quite. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Anytime that he lets down his guard, you can shoot him, basically. And it's when he does something like an attack, or he is about to do something like like some sort of dance or whatever. <laughs> 
so yeah, it's, it's not anything difficult. Now we need, we're gonna go into the critter stage soon here, and we're see we're not really taking any damage now. It sure makes a whole lot of difference when you're not waiting for him to do stuff, huh? <laughs> It just seems ridiculous that you can do that much damage so quickly, and it, I actually kind of did more damage before he got into the second phase this time than, than before, but whatever, that's cool. <laughs> I just wanna, yeah, I was gonna do a quick spin attack. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. But I heard you dancing. Yeah, how oh, you like those apples? <laughs> <laughs> nope, you can't do that. No spin attacks for you. You let down your guard. And uh, 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 come on. You know this is possible to hit him when he's doing that. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, how did that happen? Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> and it's so easy to recover health from. You know, all the critters that keep falling and whatnot, too, so that's... Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> so, he is he really, truly is an easy boss. So, it, 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 I, I just really wouldn't have had trouble with him if I was trying to let him do... I mean, if I wasn't trying to let him do whatever he wanted to do to, to show his attacks and stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you back at the boat hut. No, I am not going to rescue her again. Please, no. No, we do not have to do that. Just Song of Soaring over back to where the boat hut is. <laughs> okay, now just out of curiosity, I'm going to see if that pictograph contest is uh, now over. Because I uh, defeated the temple, quote-unquote, again. So, we're just gonna see if that's the trigger point to what cancelled out me being able to show that pictograph to him earlier. So, just before I do the mini game, if you happen to come here, show me a pictograph. Oh, it, that is how it ends! Okay, cool. So, then he says there's a new traction. See that? Uh, it's a go outside window over there and ask them about it. So, since she's all rescued, she's like, oh, thanks for what you did back there. There's a special just for you. I'll let you take the screws to freeze. Oh, but wait, just the yes, as I thought. It seems the poison swamp has been cleared up, so why not try something that's a little more interesting? Well, she just said that's more interesting. How about a little game? I'll fly around on my broom and you try to hit my targets. Yes, sir. All right, yep, I told you you're going to be shooting more stuff. Yep, yeah, when you get that bow, you unlock... The show, I guess you can say. <laughs> Don't shoot her, by the way. You can only shoot her like ten times. Uh, see, yeah, before she'll can't. I mean, before she'll, uh, uh, yeah, can your run. But it, this mini game is actually pretty easy, so don't worry about it too much. Just shoot the target as many times as you possibly can in this time period. There we go. Just keep your eye on her at all times. Don't focus on the scenery. Well, unless there's going to be something in your way like that. <laughs> Where'd she go? She went over my head. Oh, I seen her. I seen her. Oh, oh no, you don't. You monstrosity. Uh, uh, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> it's going to leave a mark. Uh, give me another target, please. I like when they're really close like that because you can get a lot off. So this boat cruise goes on all of... <sighs> goes on all the way around this time, so... Alright, let's keep going. Oh! You had to dip down into my arrow, didn't you? You just had to dip down into my arrow. So this is the other part of the swamp that I didn't show you before, because I don't have the appropriate stuff, I guess you could say, so... Yeah, I still don't have the appropriate stuff, I think, so I'm gonna... S oh, I'm still gonna have to leave it. <laughs> There we go. I think I already won, because I think you only have to shoot a target 20 times. But I'll just keep shooting and see how things go. Oh! I can't see anything. I'll just see how things go. <laughs> that was the idea, is to shoot in the dark, I guess. To memorize the location, I guess, for the ultra... <laughs> the ultra perfectionists of scores. Uh, I got 29. I hope I don't need 30. 29? Pretty good, considering... Well, as I promised, here, take this. Yes, I got a piece of heart on a 3DS version, you get a bottle. Personally, at this point in the game, I would have preferred the bottle. But, <laughs> but even so, I got a piece of hearts. Now, wasn't that fun? If you'd like to play again, come back and see me. <laughs>
I think every time you replay one of those sorts of mini games and you don't get I mean and you already got the prize excuse me but you get a score that's worthy of the prize you get like a purple rupee or silver rupee or something like that so yeah it's not really I mean I guess you can play them if you're really good at them to grind for rupees but there's faster way to grind for rupees in all honesty I kind of want that but anyway I'm going to owl save and end off the part here not to mention copy my save file <laughs> so I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next part when I continue my horrific quest through Majora's Mask! Ugh.